two of the women's 800 meters T54. The world champion Zhou Li Hong of China is in this, and the Paralympic champion Tatiana McFadden. So from the outside, the reigning 100 meters European champion, fourth in the 200 here in London, Subeli Supergeshi of Turkey. 7-time Paralympic champion, 14-time world champion. She's won the 200, 400 and 1500 here. 800 the last for Tatjana McFadden. In lane 6, three bronze medals of the Europeans in Grosseto last year. For Switzerland, Alexandra Helbling. Lane 5, 7 in the 200 metres here. First major championship for Maria Manuel, also known as Noemi Alphonse of Mauritius. The reigning world champion over 800, 500, and the 4x4 relay from China, Zhu Li Hong. Lane three for the United States. No major championship medals yet for Susanna Scaroni from Washington. And in lane two, four medals of the Europeans at Grisato last year, three of them bronze, including the 800 meters. Danilo Wallengren. So the top three to go through to the final, and the next two fastest losers. McFadden in seven. She'll be fast away again. Zuli Hong, the world champion. Be interested to see this direct head to head battle between these two. McFadden, remember, did not compete in the last world championships in Doha. They were late in the year in October. Clash with uh, a few big city marathons. She races those two. She wins those two. McFadden ahead out in seven. Zhu cutting inside very early. McFadden still plowing through, waiting to hit the bed. Now here she goes, well out in front, with Zhu in second place. Helbling trying to move up, but McFadden, as usual, is in a class of her own, way clear of the rest. Wallengren trying to move up. Scaroni is in there, fourth place. Aveda on the inside for Turkey. Heading towards the bell, it's McFadden, it's Zhu, Scaroni, Supergeci, Wallengren a good distance back in fifth place, and for Mauritius, it's Alphonse in sixth. So USA, China, USA, then a bit of a gap back to Turkey, Supergeci in fourth place. McFadden's played this very well, remember it's the top three to go through, and the top three, quite a good bit clear at the moment. McFadden, of course, leading them all out, with Zhu Li Hong in second place, a girl from Shanghai, Paralympic marathon champion, Pip McFadden on the line in that. McFadden has a lot of knowledge about her as a result. Scaroni, the 26-year-old from the Northwest United States, in third place, closing straight. McFadden on the way to winning this, and McFadden comfortable all the way through. She led from gun to tape, and she wins it. McFadden takes it, Scaroni second, and Lou is in third. Long way back then to fourth place. Looks to be Helbling who's taken that, and will have to wait to be a fastest loser, but numero uno again. She even hates losing heats. It's to Jenna McFadden. Tatiana McFett, not only one of the most successful athletes, but also one of the most humble ones. Absolutely great work by her. Wonder what Scott Reardon makes of the best women's T54, your fellow world champion. T54? Um, best T54 woman in the world? It's got to be Angie Ballard, not Angie Ballard. Ask a stupid question. <laughs> what a great break that was, though, by Tatiana McFadden. Right from the gun, away she went. And Scaroni coming up on the inside uh, for China's Zhu Li Hong to take second place. But McFadden taking top spot again. I asked for that. I think he misheard you. He didn't have the cans on, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that occasion. McFadden wins 152.46. Scaroni in second place in the United States with Zhu Li Hong in third for China and Helbling also qualifying in fourth place.